So we're here. Checking out with JKK. Hello. Hey, what's up? Oh, with our display. So I'm JKK from Multitaction. I'm uh, doing hardware R&D with our, our displays, but we are also... How, how are you doing? I'm doing... How are you? I'm, I'm fine, thank you. What about cool. you, Chabax? You, uh, how many conferences did you go do video blogging at? Oh man, we, we, we way too many. But nowadays I'm not blogging about it, I'm actually playing with the stuff at, uh, at home, so I don't typically go this. Because you saw all these uh, cool trade shows, many cool texts, but yes, you're thinking, yes, hey, yes, we, you want to actually do it. I want to do it. I don't want to just blog about it or, or, uh, or play with them. I want to actually do it. So that's what we do. We, we do big ass oh, touchscreens and uh, the purpose, purpose is to build walls of touch. And uh, how we do it is the best, best in the world. You remember? Best it's the in best the world. in the world. Because you were you were looking at uh, let's say uh, Windows and Android and all that stuff, and you say, hey, that's boring. Let's yes. do something yes. better. The this, next level. This is the next level. So we have normal LCD, but behind the LCD we have actually on each 55 inch screen we have 32 cameras. So we are blasting IR to your hands or or. Uh, or to pens or other object that you can use there and uh, that's why it is the best in the world we we actually see everything so I you can, can see we can see is everything. this not capacitive here, no 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 this is normal class and it's it's durable class and I have a code here and I put it here and I can open stuff so it's it's really really uh, totally different than traditional touch if this we is go a very, to the, very small bezel. Uh, the bezel is around four millimeters. Uh, if there is a bezel, it doesn't really matter if it's two, three or four. If it's there, it's there. But it actually makes it really easy to make, make this module. So we can build as big as like here. We built it one for the Candy Crush. That's 56 displays. All this touch. is like a TV show? Or yes, what and there is this? another one. So over 100 displays together working. Uh, on a Candy Crush display, on um, Candy Crush TV show, so you can see them <laughs> actually, actually, They're actually doing touching that. the screen. Yes, and jumping on top of the. Display. Are they like the best Candy Crush players in the world? Or what? <laughs> this is the best Candy Crush display in the world. <laughs> but right. we actually got a, a record on a uh, on the biggest touchscreen ever on this one. So this is a Guinness record. I was going uh, around uh, one of the most modern museums in the world. Yeah. The Doha well, Museum. Yes, you saw the museum Doha. Of Qatar. So there we have, uh, I think uh, we have it here somewhere, but we have uh, 45 displays. So 45 displays uh, showing, I miss it here, no. But yeah, Doha was uh, is really cool place. Is that the CIA? What was that? That's CIA, yes, of course. No, I'm. I, I don't know what was that, but uh, we have uh, this place in uh, a lot of museum, a lot of corporate headquarters, uh, in learning places, in, uh, so you can play or work with that. Also, because we have our own software, uh, we can enable people to play more. So this is like a showcase software, so it's a data stream to show stuff to your customers or, 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 uh, or uh, so the oh, stuff that whoever. you're doing is pretty much like uh, more than 8K sometimes. What's yes, the resolution? we can do 16K easily. So, so just having these modules together with one computer, we can uh, we can easily uh, create walls with, with uh, over over 50 displays. So nothing nothing new For on you, that. 16, 8K, 8K is a piece of cake. How, so what do you, how do you uh, how do you the run best it? thing would be 16K AI 5G. <laughs> then it's cool. <laughs> All right, then it's cool because eh? uh, you know the people are catching up slowly. They're trying yes. to do 4K. You're yes, yes, far yes. beyond that. But we have been doing 4K for years, so nothing new on that. And uh, here you can actually see this product is called UMB, a shiny one with a with a uh, normal glass, like tempered glass surface. But here we have our XMB with anti glare and Gorilla Glass. So if you come here, so this is a Gorilla Glass which is bonded to the system. And again, same thing. We can use we can use the same touch stuff. And here, this is our software called Canvas, and uh, that's for for uh, 
collaboration and uh, like mindstorming and idea sharing for the for the same same to, stuff. To, to collaborate uh, and mind share and all that stuff, it's really important to be uh, perfect and yeah. be great in the software integration. Yeah. How good is this? What this is doing? good. But the, I think one of the key things here is uh, it, because it's based on our touch. It it's like it just works. But we have added so many things, making it easier for different teams to to collaborate together. So this this can be live in several different uh, offices. So it's real time in in in, uh, in many offices. So you can share it without uh, uh, traveling. And we can also use the same software uh, with other displays. So like here we have a Microsoft Hub. So you can also use anything on our software on other displays. Of course, it works best on the best uh, touchscreen, display which is our 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 yeah. display. So, so it's like you can run it as an app on a Windows. Yes, you can do that too. And other yeah. platform too. Yes. And what do we, you run on, on yours? We, is it we, uh, we, this runs on Linux or Windows? I, uh, Windows. I don't even know. But I, like I said, I'm on hardware, not software. But yeah. it's quite. Quite. It's quite. Uh, uh, this one is even easy to set up on on either. What's nothing, the hardware we see here? Yes, yeah, let's you, go you behind it. it. So, what's this hardware? Yep. So this is the display. You can go come with me here. Yeah. So typically, we have some kind of frame, or we install it straight on a wall. But this is a curved frame. Nothing special. Just uh, profiles, and they're bolted together. But quite quite easy no no fan noise we have fans but it's actually for for uh, just to keep the air slowly moving so it's it's quite quite easy to assemble how do you and assemble this you just build up the frame and then you raise the the displays to like a hooks you can see there is a aluminium hooks you just hang it there it's it's easy that's the stuff I do so, <laughs> like I I, I'm drawing these actual mechanical parts, how they work and how they interact. These, these mounts are also from us and uh, these are designed for these special uh, screens. And you uh, just design it in a way that people can figure out how to put it together? Yes, yes. At least I'm hoping that, but yes, it's quite easy. We, well, actually, many times we install the displays for our clients. So not me, but, but uh, our, our, our guys go to the client, put the displays on, Software on everything. So, so you are I, uh, in Finland and Helsinki. Helsinki, yes. Uh, is an amazing, cool city, right? It is the uh, most amazing and most 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 child-friendly city in the world. They said last week on on some news. So. The, the children can just run on the streets. There's yes. no risk. Yeah, but we don't let them run on the streets, but okay. <laughs> but other than that, we let them run free. Yes, and we let the babies sleep out in winter without parents. So yes, and it's now, safe. Pretty much for sure, you're yep. the best technology company in Finland, right? Because there's for no sure, Nokia. yes, there's no Nokia anymore, and I they mean, went that good anyway. So, yeah, so the, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, uh, hey, we have one of your table. colleagues. Let's go see the table. Yeah, let's see Ta the table. table let's first, the table. then we grab actually. Yeah. So, so, of course, some people may remember some table stuff from uh, Microsoft and uh, others, so we can. Uh, to also use our displays as a table. You just put the legs in and that's it. Or you can of course design a fancy table around it, but but uh, all these things work here and here we are demoing that we can use these markers, markers to do stuff. So It feels like very natural the way you're touching and where the Yeah, it is. It really, the, the key with us has always been that the, the customer needs to touch it and when, when you use it the first time you know why it is better than anything else on the market. So this is, we, we, are, we, are, we are tracking the fingers, the, the palms and everything. Before you uh, even touch, you, you know that you are approaching we, we the We know what's happening. Let's see if there is the technology. No, no, no. Where is the tech? There. there. So you can actually see here what's happening. So as we have the cameras behind the LCD, we see the whole hand, the palm everything so when you're doing stuff we know that there, these are your hands and you are doing it and you are actually standing here like this one if I make it like this I put my hand there it turns towards me so now if I go the other way sorry it turns towards me again because it can see my whole hand 
So, whole hand. Also, we have pens to ride on, so they they never go out of sync. So it knows this is a hand, this is a pen, and and they cannot be. Uh, How do you make that work? Uh, with uh, black magic. It's uh, like I said. It's 16K AI 5G. We have all that. Uh, uh, there's, you have some some pretty much exclusive IR kind of touch. Yes, yes. Because the algorithm is, is, uh, is old. It's yes. like what uh, it's ten years. We were talking about this yes. as a cutting edge, as best resistive yes. from ten years yes. ago. Yes. Yeah. But this is the next step where you're going infrared. Yes. So this is uh, old stuff in a way, but we have been doing this over ten years, so we have been advancing it. Uh, we we can use now way much more processing power with like we have small arm chips inside we have a, have three of them actually so we can crunch the numbers so much better and our our system the the algorithms to do this work so much better and, and will keep working better and better every every year so three so. arms uh, and one like uh, intel uh, you, this because you kind of like merge the the stuff that the arm does yeah. to accelerate fully hardware acceleration yes even yes. using the gpu and the arm and stuff yes. like that yeah, yeah we then, used to have like a full pc inside the box now the arm chips are tiny like ready card size chips and and everything is done locally and then everything is running on that or do you also have a server somewhere yes of course the the video itself comes from the server so we have a server on that back room there and uh, it's just connected with us show some more cool cool ui things you can do sorry you can show some more cool different cool things you can do. yeah so this is just demoing the table stuff and uh, and the object recognition but uh, here here is a perfect demo Normally on a phone you pinch and zoom like this, right? We can do that, but we can also pinch and zoom like this or like this. So because we see it, it just works. So much more natural. It is. It is good. So uh, are there like some high-end uh, restaurants where people can yes, order menu stuff on this? Restaurants, oh, restaurants and this? Uh, museums and uh, education news is that. But I think one of the new key things would be big corporate. So having those huge displays to show big data or or, or any anything else that you need to see a lot of stuff at once. So this is pretty much like the reception at yes. like the big corp. Yes. Uh, when you enter the reception, boom, yeah. you have a. But um, you, you have to put a limit. You can't be too cool. No, in what there's you do, no right? limit. You, there, there's unlimited touch. So there can be a thousand people now using this display or this together, and there's absolutely no limitation. You can add and more we blast displays. that 200 hertz, so it will not go down, no matter how many users there are. And also with the displays, we can we use just one display or put 50 of them together, and uh, because they, these are modules, they are designed to work together, and we can have it as a one-touch surface. And again, with both Windows and Linux. So, but if no. you run 50 of them, you need yeah. a big server in the yes. back room. Yes. What? How do you run this? How do you make this work? So there is a, a, like a quite a big uh, server with the latest and greatest uh, processors. There might be for for big installation. There, there is like four uh, GPUs all for running uh, four uh, 4K channels. And we are combining the touch to them, so it's it's really high-end stuff. Like the one GPU can cost four thousand, so it's it's not a toy anymore. But uh, you're pretty much running a supercomputer in the background. It is pretty much like that, but but it's the GPU really that works, not the, not the CPU. It's because this is intensive. It, each of the modules are full HD, so so there's a lot of pixels. All but, right. And uh, you, you're getting every year with newer, newer generation hardware. Yes, you're doing yes. more and more stuff, like yes, so uh, ramping we up the brightness. Yeah. So we manufacture everything else but the actual LCD with, uh, on ourselves. So every time we get the new, new best stuff from uh, from uh, manufacturers like Samsung and LG, we 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 tend to go with that and, and build the better and better and. Because you, you have to take their panel, uh, integrate, yes. and you have to work with all kinds of new yeah. technology that's coming out, yeah. right? Yeah. You are looking into the future of tech. We are looking into. That's why I'm actually here. I'm looking into the future, and and uh, this is this our tech and our IP can be used on uh, on so many different 
uh, sides of this deck. We can use it on the OLED, on LED, on whatever comes next. So, so right. that's that's the easy thing, and uh, and it's also one of the coolest things because this is inc like crazy uh, hard to do from scratch. But for us, it's easy because we have been doing it so long. So, yeah. Because it's, it's crazy that there's a big companies in the U.S. and they don't really know what what to do against yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, it you is. You are like uh, here uh, in Finland and you sh you're showing them how to do stuff. Well, actually, I can I can check if our CEO is available. No, he's not. He's we could talk with, talk with him about the commercial side, but uh, yeah, Finland is a tiny country, so maybe that's it. But we. I think we sell quite a lot in US, so that's for us a new, new good. Let's try to check if he's maybe yeah. available. Yeah, now he's available. No, nope. let's see. Hi. So, um, so what's the the big the big vision? Uh, big, what's what? the big uh, what's what's your experience with the company? What's the latest? What's happening? What's happening in ten years from now? Five years from now? Five years from now. Yeah. Wow. Uh, <laughs> You know, un unprepared uh, answer is that, uh, you know, I, I think that this type of technology is becoming uh, so adaptive that people, you know, they just go on the wall, they start doing something and you don't need any, like, any minutes to learn what you do. So you can do amazing things. Uh, you can connect with your friends, uh, you, can, you can connect with your business colleagues anywhere with any device. Uh, this is where I believe that the technology takes us uh, very soon and everything is very interactive, very intuitive. So, so even, the, even the education or the teaching process be becomes more like you search information, you are interactively all the time connected with things and, and instead of uh, learning by heart, you are studying things uh, on the go, so, so uh, you search for information and, and you connect those dots, uh, you work with the team uh, and, and, and so you, you get more productive in, in, in that way rather than individually doing stuff. This has got to be an amazing story for uh, the technology uh, sector of Finland, right? To the, I'm just imagining here, can you tell some stories about how easy it is for you to convince customers to buy this solution? Because it, oh. when it's big and it's uh, shiny yeah. and it's impressive, yeah. it's got to be easy, right? Yeah, how, so how, how do you pitch? How, do you, how does so, it work? I mean, most people are visual. And so instead of having some uh, static things on the wall, so we, we wanted to make some uh, guy lost in the space, uh, you know, people are tempted to go and touch. That's what we wanted to achieve. So, so you know, there's a meteor, meteor rain here, so you can, you can do things. People want, they have the child in their head. They want to touch and feel the things. I think this is, this is, this is the way we differentiate from, you know, many other boots from here. So it's, it's, when you, when you go touch it's calling a, you here. When you go touch a Google or Microsoft the yeah. screen, it's not natural. You want, it's, a, it's not easy to get thing, the technology to feel like yeah. natu natural. Now you need to be brave enough to go to their booth. Yeah. <laughs> For here, it's, 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 it's like, you know, you touch and feel and, and, and it basically when you come here, you already know that things are happening. It's not, it's not like uh, ruled by some kind of, uh, you know, process. This is intuitive. Uh, you don't have to learn the UI. No, no, no. How do you develop this? How do you, at the company, how do you have the, the whole software to UX? And all yeah. this, uh, who's doing this? How do you make this? Oh, we, you know, we are based in Finland, so we have a small team uh, which yeah. is connected to our customers, and so we have a almost daily based, you know, discussion with our customers, you know, what they want. So everything, what you see, is based on customer feedback. So customers wanted to have a feature when they have their own business card, and and, and you can easily open your own menu that includes your uh, your the stuff that you you want and and so for me I love whiskey 
So uh, we have a customer, Glenfiddich, which is uh, utilizing the technology in, in an innovative way. So the people have been uh, on a tour in a whiskey, you know, the whiskey sellers, they come back, they take the whiskey, they put the whiskey glass on the table and they see what they drink. So it's sort of extending the experience, uh, uh, you know, with the technology. It's a very nice uh, application that uh, Glenfiddich has, has done for their customers. Is it possible that also your customers want always more and more? Yeah. So they're like asking for 2.0, 3.0 and just update uh, more and more functionality. Yes. How can you deliver this? Do you have also partners you partner with to do more stuff? Uh, or? So most of the time uh, we develop uh, based on the priorities that we have agreed with the customers. Now recently we have opened APIs that allows customers uh, to provide content there. So, you know, we just had that API like a few months ago. So we are trying to build an ecosystem where customers could uh, build easily content with their tools that they have, uh, you know, uh, the knowledge. Using. And then link their database in there and yes. get uh, up-to-date information. Exactly. Very important point. So you can you can actually connect some uh, some of your uh, customer databases through those APIs so that you have the native uh, native information uh, in nice. a great way. And, and also, uh, uh, is there in the next five years, ten years, potentially a uh, vision to like dominate the world for your company, or what's? Oh, we want to be. Uh, we want to be the software uh, where people want to build their content and, and share that content real time, uh, you know, wherever they are and whatever devices they have, whether it's a cell phone. So you can hook yourself to this dialogue, any device at any time. Uh, so that's, that's our vision. And, uh, we're going to be number one on that. And JKK is also number one and... Yes. Uh, <laughs> so for me, of course, as I do... The Let's grab the mic. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. So yeah. for me, of course, as I do the hardware stuff, uh, be, being like creating the best possible uh, materials, best possible uh, parts for to build the, the whole display and the display walls is, is the key. So, so uh, if, you, if you know my background and seen my videos <laughs> you know that that uh, best can be the only option so yes this is the best in the world how does it compare with the Arcos? well i don't know if Arcos is making big screens maybe no, no, they but do no, they have, but uh, they uh, i remember the resistive touch uh, tablets and they weren't really the best even one one friend of mine so told everyone that they are the best to know no. Because it's important to keep on resistive when yes. other people are doing capacitive. Yes, yes. That's maybe what they that's, were doing a little maybe bit. Maybe that's similar. I don't want. Uh, we'll. I don't. I wouldn't compare us to them. We it's are like different. It's a very big yes. Arcos. No? We, we are I different. I think it's because you got the the you got the Gemini 400 or you got one of the Arcos yes. and you said I want to make a big one. Yes. And this yes. is why maybe you're doing this, right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe we have to think about the resistive touch again. But right now, the machine learning, uh, machine vision, and actually we have now some machine learning also there, is uh, is really the way. We, what does the machine learning do? We we do that good. It works. We have patented it, and uh, that's why I think I will continue doing that. And it's great fun for me. It's it's really not easy, but it makes makes these things tick. So. So, uh, it's a cool challenge to have. It's a cool challenge, yeah. Especially now when we're going bigger, bigger, and but also same time smaller and smaller, smaller pixel size, smaller, uh, 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 maybe even smaller units, but building bigger, bigger walls. So, yeah, multi-traction.